I invite uh, Mr. Shreya Khasmi. He is the President and CEO of Global Energy at New Holdings.
to plus trillion dollar capital market already exists. And UAE is the hub of the financial activity to cater to the needs of the Indian subcontinent. GIEAH, along with our knowledge-based stakeholders, will bring concept to completion, formation, issuance, management, exit strategy, and portfolio allocation of all investment in all the sectors. Now, present size of the global Sharia and Islamic combined assets this year is estimated at about 1.8 trillion US dollars. And all those investments came from the banking assets and the schools and the funds that make up this investment. Okay, the 15% of this investment is in the form of school. The school market size itself has grown rapidly by approximately 20% annual compounded growth rate in the last five years. An initiative to establish 250 billion first tranche school India's centric fund of funds is our goal. As a financing tool, Sukuk enables more diversified financing for, for government and private sector entities alike. For people who follow, follow Sharia principles strictly, Sukuk as an Islamic financial instrument provides one provides one, only a few options for financing and investment. Therefore, developing Sukuk is a way to mobilize financing um, and savings for a segment of population that would not be otherwise served by conventional financing vehicles. But for many, Sukuk provides an avenue to tap a new investor base. The investor base is 40 trillion plus, including the capital markets, individuals, or institutional investors outside the USA. In other words, the USA has its own capital base, but outside the USA, there's a 40 plus, 40 plus trillion dollars worth of market available for the Sukuk to attack. Sukuk provides alternative long-term financing for key sectors such as infrastructure, infrastructure assets that provide long-term stable cash flows are usually suitable for uh, to back Sukuk structures. As several countries struggle to develop sources of long-term financing, Sukuk appears as a relevant means to help deepen the pool of capital to finance investments and support growth. More than 20% of Sukuk issued during the year 2012 alone was for infrastructure. Now this is about the Indo-UAE investment framework that was established uh, after Prime Minister Modi visited uh, UAE, and uh, and now, of course, uh, uh, His Highness is visiting uh, India. So, in the meeting, in the meeting, both sides agreed to explore further ways of facilitating investment in sectors of mutual interest with potential for economic growth. The discussions resulted in significant progress in a variety of areas on a range of issues. The two sides deliberated in specific detail about the participation of UAE investment institutions in infrastructure development in India. They also exchanged views on development of a high-level framework for UAE institutions to invest in Indian infrastructure across various investment platforms. So Sukhu could be one such platform. Any resulting investment decisions will be made in line with the standards and policies that the UAE investment institutions follow and in a way that secures viable financial returns. Both sides assess the progress of continuing discussions on signing an MOU between ADNOC and India Strategic Petroleum, Petroleum Reserve Limited. The MOU under discussion aims to establish strategic oil reserves in India in line with common strategic interests for both, uh, both countries. The meeting agreed to expedite the execution of the MOU. As you all know, India is very, very uh, uh, energy hungry. We import almost uh, more than 60 or 70 percent of our crude oil. So the um, ISPRL is one initiative. We can establish such initiatives in all other sectors. And another focus of deliberations at the meeting was mutual cooperation and identification of investment opportunities in the defense, manufacturing, and semiconductor sectors. Our semiconductor sector is, is almost completely managed because of uh, competitors. 
Investing in critical research and development activities have been key to the UAE's defense strategy. For example, Abu Dhabi shipbuilding uh, has been successful in delivering complex naval platforms to its clients by fostering high-end technologies and focused R&D through collaboration with global industrial partners. This is a model that UAE believes can be successfully replicated in India with the aim of bringing mutual Both the UAE and Indian delegations noted the potential to further enhance and expand their country's bilateral investment relationship by collaborating closely to identify bottlenecks to trade, new, new areas of trade and cooperation, and methods of trade promotion, with the target of increasing trade by 60% over the next five years. So the figures were given this morning, the 60% of that would be uh, immense uh, uh, leap forward. Commenting on the fourth meeting of the Joint Task Force, Sheikh Hamid bin Zayed Al Nehan, co chair of the Joint Task Force and chairman of the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince's Corps, said this meeting is evidence of the growing momentum between discussion, discussions between UAE and India to enhance bilateral investment relations and further explore ways of increasing trade between the two countries. The Joint Task Force has been successful in aligning both countries' key areas of mutual interest and we look forward to continuing our strategic dialogue. The result of our current cooperation will further consolidate the gains of our close economic partnership. Now to navigate the Indian market, we need some more the support from Indian stakeholders, both in public and private sector. GIEAS will be ready with all the tools and knowledge based human capital from UAE, USA, and, and India to help Indian and UAE stakeholders to take, to take advantage of this opportunity. RBA Governor Mr. Raghuram Rajan vows to free markets for a trillion dollar core sector investments. That was about a year ago, courtesy of the economic times. and of course this is my contact details. So we invite stakeholders, trade partners, equity investors and financial institutions to be a part of this trillion dollar initiative which will be India and subcontinent India specifically. Thank you very much. Thank you Mr. Ajmi.